Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial about a program called ps underscore mem memory dot py. Now, if you've ever used the Linux server, you know the top command, and the top command will basically tell you the current CPU and RAM usage of current processes on the, on the system. Um, the problem is that many times you'll get someone that calls you and says, hey, the system was actually slow a couple hours ago. Can you tell me what was wrong with it at that time? And unless you have something monitoring your server, which you should, but uh, this is a quick and dirty way to do this monitoring. Uh, usually I'll just say, um, I don't really know, but let's schedule, uh, I'll schedule a RAM check thing to run every 10 seconds. And tomorrow, um, let me know if the same issue happened. And I'll check the logs to see what was being used at that time. And that's what basically this PS underscore MEM that py file does. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have you want to be logged under root here. So um, who am I is a command you can run. Make sure you're root because most of these commands uh, require root. And you want to make sure that you have screen and wget installed. So the first command you want to do is this wget pixelbeat.org scripts ps underscore mem dot py. You can look at the script if you want and read what it does. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it's actually a really nice script to use. The next thing you want to do is move this script to a location where uh, it's easy to call on the command line so you don't have to call it every time from the root directory. Uh, if you look what directory I'm in here, I'm in root. So let's move this to user local sbin. I'm going to do clear, and then I'm going to change the permission on it so we can run this without uh, calling Python directly. So now if I just do ps underscore mem dot py, it's going to tell me all the RAM usages for each process that's running on the server. And if you scroll all the way up to the top, you'll see the private plus the shared equals the total RAM usage for that process. And it's actually nicely ordered too from least usage all the way down to the most used service and if you can see here MySQL is using almost half a gig of RAM to run and you can see I'm using about 1.4 gigs of RAM total what's also nice is services that spawn multiple processes like Apache you can see here that it actually says there's six Apache processes running and it's a total of 14.8. So if you were to look at top, chances on top, it has a, I'm pretty sure you could probably do this in top. Um, I haven't had to do this in a while, but it will have a process per PID or process ID. So this one's actually really nice. It adds it all up together and you know Apache's using 14.8 megs on this machine. And you can see that by doing ps aux grep apache2, and you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And if your server got more busy, these numbers would also go up. And that's essentially how Apache works with spawning new processes. Okay, that's all great, but how do we make this script run all the time? And it's actually pretty easy to do. We want to run screen, press enter. You want to run it inside screen so in case you close out for the day and disconnect from the server that this process, this uh, script will keep running and keep monitoring the RAM usage. So let's do make dir mem. I'm going to go in this uh, memory directory. The next quick command I'm going to show you is this date command. And basically this is just saying spit out the date proceed the file with MEM and then put an underscore, then put the month, and then put an underscore, then put the date, year, hour, month, second, and then put the host name. So if I can press enter here, it actually gives you a nice file name that will be used for this this service that we're going to write, or this, this script we're going to write. Okay, so let's run the command once. So here's the full command basically says ps underscore mem dot py and we're gonna what we called is a pipe 
and then you put a back tick here. Back ticks help this command run successfully. Um, you may not always need them, but it doesn't hurt to put them in there. So let's just press enter. And then if you do ls, you'll see I have this file, and it has all the RAM usage in here. And we can go to the bottom, and you can see pretty similar results. MySQL still using most of the RAM. OK, so now how do we make this run every 10 seconds until the developer tells us, hey, check at 2 AM why was the system slow again? So this is pretty easy to do on the command line. We're going to write a while loop. And you just do while true, semicolon, do. And then we're just going to do the same command, ps underscore mem dot py, this whole thing. And then you want to do a sleep command here. And the sleep command is done in seconds. So if you want it to sleep for 30 seconds, it would be 30. If you want it to sleep for 5 minutes, it's 300 seconds. So let's do every 15 seconds seems pretty pretty good for our system. And then you just type done. You can press enter a couple times. And now this is actually running. And to prove it's running, I'm going to go over to this tab. I'm going to go to the mem directory. And there's this other command called watch. And basically watch accepts a dash n and the number of seconds you want. So I usually pick three and the command you want to run every three seconds. So here I want to do ls minus la. Um, am I in? The, oh yeah, I was in this mem directory. directory. So you can see we have the script is running. So we already have one, two, three, four outputs of the RAM usage. And in the next 15 seconds, we'll get another entry here. And there you go. It just popped up another one. And you can see that this script continues to run over here. This is the current date time. So every three seconds, this number is going to change here. And every 15 seconds here, you'll get a new file. And there you go. Just another, another file popped up. Now the only thing you want to be careful with is disk space usage. If you forget this is running, it, it may contain thousands and thousands of files because you're running this every 10 seconds or 15 seconds for this script. So just remember to clean it up when you're done with the troubleshooting of the Linux server. If you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments. If you have any recommendations for videos, please post them in the comments as well. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.